Hey there! Today I want to show you how to do something that's kind of complex, but I'm going to try to use a very simple example, so hopefully it'll be a little easier to understand. The real title for this video should probably be called Associating Deformation Chains with Drawing Substitutions. I know that's a bunch of big words, it just means that we're hooking deformer chains up to cell swaps. So let me show you how this works, and uh, sometimes when you're in a studio you might be working on a a rig that has a bunch of deformers and all of a sudden the deformers aren't hooked up to the drawing anymore. You click on the show deformer button and nothing shows up. So I'm going to show you how to fix that if you encounter that. Alright, so let's start. Here's my arm. I've drawn four different drawings for it. I'm going to show the thumbnails here in the timeline view. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see them more clearly. Alright, so for this first arm I'm going to get the rigging tool. I'm going to press the plus, create a new deformation chain. I'm going to use the envelope mode to create deformers. I'm going to drag two Bezier curves. I'll test that out using the transform tool. All right, cool. That works. It's great. Okay, let's go to the next arm. Here, I think I want another deformation chain. So I'm going to get the rigging tool, create a new deformation chain, and I'm going to use three points on this guy. So there's like a point for the elbow. I wouldn't normally rig this way on a complex character. This is just kind of a stick arm, but I, I think it's gonna get the idea across for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the transform tool. I can move that, I can move the elbow separately. Looks kind of funky, but what it's doing is it is adding a, a group inside the deformation group. So there's the first chain, here's the second chain, and now let's go ahead and let's make another deformer for this third arm. This time I'm going to do a closed end envelope deformer. Let's hold Alt to connect that final deformer point. I'm going to adjust these all so that they envelop the art the way that I want it to. Let's give this a try. good. And then I've got this last arm. I think I would just want to put two deformer points so I could kind of use the stuff from the, the first deformer arm. So I want to show you what's going on here in the deformation of the arm group. If I click on the transformation switch you'll see that the first deformation chain is associated with drawing number one. Right? The title of the drawing is one. And then the second chain is associated with drawing two. The third chain is associated with drawing three. Now, what happens if someone were to come in and type something different? So, if we press Control D to rename this drawing and we name it Line, and look at that. There's no longer a deformation chain that's active with it. The reason for that is Transformation 1 knows that it should be connected with a drawing named 1 has never met the drawing named line before. So if we want to go ahead and associate this drawing with that deformation chain, there's a couple of ways to do that. So with the line drawing selected in the timeline, I can choose from the drop down in the deformer toolbar, I can choose transformation one. And now watch what happens. In the transformation switch, it now says transformation one is buddies with drawing number one and the drawing named line. Um, let's say for drawing number two, let's call this the muscle arm. So I'm going to rename it, control D, I'm going to call it muscle. And oh no, it just lost its deformers. All we need to do is make sure that the name of that drawing ends up in here. So I could just type in muscle and put a semicolon and press enter. It's the same thing as choosing it from the drop down. Here on the last one, I'm going to show you in Harmony 14 and earlier what you have to do. It was a little bit different. So let's let's call this one envelope. I press control D to rename. And uh, back in the earlier versions of Harmony, what you'd need to do is you'd need to customize your toolbar, and then you would need to add this button. It's called associate parent transformation switch with selected element. Wow, that's a big name. Scoot that over, hit apply. So you see I have a new button here in my toolbar for that. And then what you would have to do in the earlier versions of Harmony is you would choose 
the chain that you wanted and then you would need to push this button in order for it to save the name into here. Now you'll notice if I were to click on this arm you'll see that I've got a drawing named envelope, a drawing named line, and a drawing named muscle. I don't have the drawings named 1, 2, and 3 anymore. So I could go to the transformation switch and I could go ahead and delete those numbers just to clean things up. It's not necessary, but I like to have it nice and clean. And to make it even more clear for me, I'm going to rename the transformation chains so I know what they are. Let me show you what I mean. I have clicked on that transformation switch and I'm going to click on this button in the deform toolbar, rename transformation. And what it's doing is it's showing me the names of the chains that usually show up here in the dropdown. And so I'm going to rename them and I'm going to look over here. I want to name this first one line, the next one muscle, the next one envelope. This will make it really easy in the future. You see how it updated the transformation chain names right here. And then the last thing that I would like to do just to make it even more clear is I want to go ahead and rename these groups because they contain these deformation chains. When you go into these deformer groups, you see the offsets and the curves. Um, if I were to click here, you would see them highlight. Okay. So let's go ahead and name these groups so that they make more sense. So the first one's going to be line, the next one muscle, then envelope. So let's click on this. Now it should be really easy for us to keep track of, of all of those different things that are going on. I'm just going to scoot these out to make it a little easier to see what's happening. We've got all this working out nicely. And what we want to do is we have this fourth drawing, the squiggly one and we want to go ahead and give it deformers, but we've already got some deformer chains that will probably work for it. I think we could use the same deform chain that goes with the line, just the two points. So what I'm going to do, this will make your life a lot easier if you can get used to doing this. Let's go ahead and just name the drawing before we add the chain to it. So I'm going to press Control V to rename a drawing, and I'm going to name this Squiggly. Now that I've named that properly, I'm going to click on the cell swap in the timeline, and then I'm going to choose from the drop down, and I'm going to choose the deformation line. And let's see, let's test this out using the transform tool. Yeah, I think that that deforms how I would want it to. And I just want to show you in the transformation switch um, what happened. You see now the line transformation is associated with the drawing called line and also with squiggly. There's a semicolon in between them. So you can put uh, many different drawings and link them up with the same deformation chain. And um, for the final example, what I want to show you is, let's do this. Let's say that I wanted to use the line. I'm going to copy and paste that, control C, control V. And now I want to duplicate this art. So there's this button right here, duplicate drawing. So now I have an additional cell swap, but it's exactly the same art as we had before. And I want to rename this one three point, three underscore point. And for this guy, I'm actually going to say, you know what? I'm going to use that muscle one. It had three points so that uh, I could have kind of like that elbow there. And because I named this ahead of time, um, Harmony went ahead and it put that name in there for me, three point and muscle. Those are the drawings. So remember, you run into problems if you've already put a deformation chain with a drawing, and then you go ahead and you name it something else, like curvy. And if you click you'll notice that uh, it now has the default transformation and it doesn't have, you try to show the deformers, nothing shows up, and that's what happens. And you'll have to go and choose a deform chain that you want associated with it. See, now we've got curvy line and squiggly. So please feel free to ask any questions in the comments. This is a very important workflow to get down and make sure that you know. And I hope that this 
more simplistic example was helpful because I have the more complex way that I use this in the regular rig in the second video where we rig an arm on my map character. All right, thanks for watching.